Hi guys, Tom. It's Friday, October 7, 2011. And uh, I went ahead and took my wife to work so I could have her car today. And we got it finished priming the spots on it this morning. Got uh, all the body work and primer on the passenger side now. So we had some rust issues there. Rust down the dog leg, dent in the door, and a little rust on the rocker panel down there. So we got it, uh, we got it um, ready to sand, sand and scuff, basically, and uh, do our painting. And uh, we have some other issues with the uh, with the Lincoln that I'm going to investigate today. So uh, I went ahead and took my wife to work, and uh, so I could have the car. Uh, we got something wrong with the front end. It torque steers really bad. Uh, it's so bad you couldn't drive it on a slick surface. Um, you know, it, it torque steers at the touch of the throttle. And I believe we got a broken motor mount, transmission mount, or something. Let me see by this tire. This tire's been hurt on the edge here. See, uh, okay, right there. You can see we got some baldness right in here. I'll show you the other side. Yeah, so you can tell just by the tire, you know, we do have an issue. Um, this has been an ongoing issue, and it just seems to be getting worse. I'm kind of thinking it's a motor mount now, and it's finally given up completely. Um, I've put new tie rod ends on it. I've put, I've rebushed the whole front end. I also put new... I believe stabilizer link links on it. Um, I think that's a proper name. I've almost completely rebuilt the front end. I think I have rebuilt the front end on this car. Um, I'm pretty sure we got something broken. Let's get the hood up on it. I mean this car steers, you have to make steering corrections if you let off the gas. That's how bad it torque steers. So you can be going down the road 60 mile an hour and let off the gas and have to correct. And I mean have to correct. Otherwise you will hit something else. Uh, same way under acceleration. More gas you give it, the more steering input you have to give it, and it's quite bad. Let's, uh, hopefully, I got my key on me. We'll start it up and we'll see if we can't get the motor to come up. That's if I got my darn key. Well, holy crap. Hang on, guys. All right. Okay. Yeah. And also, it causes every alarm to go off that you can imagine in this thing. I'm pretty sure uh, the reason, let's see we got a brake light out that needs fixed. Um, we're probably a little low on brake fluid. Low washer fluid, I cannot get that light to go off. Um, the pump is inside the reservoir 
or the uh, sensor is inside the reservoir and when they put the reservoir in this car it's the very first thing they must put in because you cannot and trust me guys you cannot take the fuel res or the uh, the reservoir for the washer fluid out unless you uh, take the motor out of it okay let's throw it in gear let's see what kind of lights come up uh, we should have traction control should come up I, we may have to drive it a little bit or at least let me give it some gas here let's uh let's see what we get here watch the engine compartment there between the the hood and the dash watch right in here well I can't get it to do it see if we can't pull it out here without tearing something up there we go there see that motor rocking guys I think that's too much. I think we got a broken mount somewhere. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. So, I think what we got there Okay guys, I think what we're going to do is we'll take a little test drive, I'll show everybody what this car is doing, and uh, see if anybody has any comments about it. That may help me if I cannot find a verdict today, because I haven't found a verdict yet about it. I've been working on this thing for probably nine or ten months trying to get this out. and. Everything I've done to it helped it, but then it slowly got worse again, and now it's pretty bad. Now, we got a brake lamp out, and we also have a low washer fluid. Again, low washer fluid I can't get off. It's something that we have to deal with, which I hate idiot lights. But what's going to happen here is we're going to get a traction control light and probably um, an ABS light. And I'm thinking the reason why is be, is all because of the movement of the uh, motor and transmission uh, throwing the wheels out of alignment. Therefore, um, the wheels have different. Uh, what I want to say here, they're turning different revolutions. They're not matched up. It's throwing the computer. The sensors are throwing the computer into a tizzy, and uh, I'm thinking that's why. Try to get this up here. This is, has a funny dash on it. That's why those lights come on. So let me pull out here on the road, and as soon as we give it some gas, then lights will come on. There we got our ABS light. Nothing on the traction control. There it comes, right there, traction control. Okay, so I'm gonna pull up here in the middle of the road and I'm gonna stop and then I'm gonna accelerate and even when I put on the brakes, I have to make a steering correction. And I'll let you guys watch the steering wheel. Okay, here we go. See, we took off to the, I guess I should have watched the road. We take off to the right under acceleration. And um, we also, under heavy braking, we go a little left. There it go, it went left when I accelerated. That's the trouble with it, guys. Um, 
I think that has to do with the with the differential. Um, sometimes it'll pull harder one way than it does the other, or vice versa. From one acceleration to another, it'll pull left and or right. Look at that! Look at that! You see how fast that jump, guys? This car is very difficult to control. Look at that, it just turned dead to the left. I think the reason why it was uh, going to the right more so was because I was in the middle of the road and this road has quite a bit of crown in it. Okay, let's pull up here. In fact, uh, I'm just gonna take it home. I'm afraid, uh, I'm afraid to uh, get on it too much. I think I'm gonna break something. So anyway, I think that is why my traction light, traction control comes on. Uh, and I also think that's the responsible for the ABS light. And we'll see if those correct themselves, if we can correct the problem and find out what's wrong with it. But as you can see, it is scary jumpy under acceleration. Um, and like I said, when you're going 60, 65, 70, 75 mile an hour down the interstate, if you let off, you know, you're applying so much torque at those speeds to keep the car to keep the car at at that pace when you let off the gas it actually uh, does one of those acceleration numbers almost it's not as bad as that but it you know it does does do it so that's the problem and uh, we'll see what we can do to get it fixed take it easy